Hi, I'm Robbie, also known as Amber's Crochet, somewhere on the internet, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these adorable little hen, which was actually suggested to me by my little sister because I asked her if anything came to mind uh, that I could crochet for Mother's Day, which is probably past now, but uh, she suggested a hen and I thought that was pretty adorable and I had never made one, so this is what I came up with and now I'm going to show you how to make it. Here's what we will need. Some yarn in a few colors. I went with white, red and yellow. A crochet hook to match your yarn, three millimeters in my case. Some toy stuffing, scissors, pins, tapestry needle or a regular needle and some thread. 12 millimeters safety eyes or needle and black thread. Here are the stitches we will be working with. A magic ring, not a stitch, but we will need it single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet decrease, chain, double crochet and triple or treble crochet. Okay, so we're going to start with the head. So I'm going to get my white yarn and we're going to start with the magic ring. Round one is going to be six single crochets into the magic ring. So we're just going to make six single crochets. So that's round one done with six single crochets. Now we move on to round two. Round two is just going to be one increase in each single crochet for a total of six increases. So at the end of round two, we're going to have 12 single crochets. So I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so now that round two is done, we move on to round three, which is going to be one single crochet and then one increase repeated six times so at the end of round three we're going to have 18 single crochets so once again one single crochet and one increase repeated six times i'll see you when i have those done okay now that round three is done as well we, we move on to round four which is just going to be two single crochets and one increase repeated six times so at the end we're going to have 24 single crochets so once again one two and one increase so i'll see when i have all 24 crochets done, single crochets done okay i have round four done so now we move on to round five which is going to be three single crochets and one increase so three and one increase and once again one two three and one increase repeated six times in total so at the end we're going to have 30 single crochets and i'll see you when i have those done okay when you're done with round five we can move on to round six which is going to be four single crochets and one increase so three four and then one increase repeated six times in total again so at the end we're going to have 36 single crochets and i'll see you when i have those done okay so once we're done with round six we can move on to rounds seven to sixteen because the next ten rounds are just going to be one single crochet in each stitch which means that from round seven to round sixteen we will still have 36 stitches at the end of each round so i'll see you when i have the next ten rounds done so until round 16. Okay, so I'm done with round 16, so we can now move on to round 17, which is where we're going to use our treble crochet. So first of all, we're going to yarn over twice, which is how you start a treble crochet. And then we're going to count one, two, in the third stitch from the last one that you made, you're going to insert your crochet hook and you're going to yarn over one more time and then you're going to pull through the first two loops and then the second two loops and then one last time so we're going to make a triple crochet and then we're going to do this five more times in the same stitch so we're going to make clusters of six treble crochets okay so this is one we're going to make the other five still triple crochets. Okay. 
Okay, now that we have our six triple crochets, we're going to once again count one, two, in a third stitch from the stitch where you make the where you made the cluster, we're going to slip stitch like so. Okay, so we want to kind of give it the idea of plumes basically. So we're going to do this five more times, so six in total. So again, we yarn over twice to start our triple crochet and then we count one, two in the third stitch. We're going to insert a crochet hook, yarn over one more time and then just finish making our first of six triple crochets. So. Okay, so again, we've done our six triple crochets, so now we count one, two, in the third stitch, we just slip stitch. Okay, and so six times in total, I'll see you when I have all six clusters done. Okay, so once we're done with the last cluster, we can just slip stitch and then we're going to cut and leave a bit of a tail so that we can uh, sew the head then to the body. So I'm just going to cut it and then we're going to um, place the safety eyes which are going between rounds 13 and 14. So this was, was round 16, 15, 14 and 13. So just place the first one. And then the second one is going to go uh, five stitches away from the first one. So I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five. So pretty much here. Okay, and then I'm going to just secure them. One and two. And this is the head done. I'm going to stuff it before I attach it to the body, uh, but this is the head done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the beak. So I'm going to get my yellow yarn and we're going to start as usual with a magic ring. And then we're going to make six single crochets into the magic ring. So. Okay, so that's the first round done. So round one is going to have six single crochets. And now we move on to round two, which is going to be one single crochet and then one increase, repeated three times. So at the end of round two, we're going to have nine single crochets. And I will see when I have those done, which is in about two seconds. Okay, and now that we're done with round two, we can move on to round three, which is going to be just one single crochet in each stitch for a total of nine single crochets at the end of round three. Okay, and now that we are done with round three, we can move on to round four, which is going to be two single crochets. So one, two, and then one increase. Repeat it three times. So at the end of round four, we're going to have 12 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so round four is the last one. So after our 12 stitches, we can just slip stitch and just leave a little bit of a tail so that we can sew it to the body or to the head sorry and again i'm going to stuff it before i sew it to the body so that is the big done okay so now we're going to make the comb 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 which is what i found out the little crest is called so you learn something new every day so i'm going to take my red yarn and we're going to start as usual with magic ring and then we're going to make six single crochets into the magic ring. So uh, round one is going to be six single crochets. So.
Okay, so now we move on to round two, which is going to be one increase in each single crochet for a total of six increases. So at the end of round two, we're going to have 12 single crochets. Okay, so now that we're, round, we're, we're done with round two, we move on to rounds three to six. So the next four rounds are going to be one single crochet in each stitch, which means that at the end of rounds three, four, five, and six, we will still have 12 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so now that we're done with round six, we can just slip stitch and leave a little bit of a tail so that we can attach the comb to the head. And you want to make um, three in total, so three of these in total. And next we will move on to the body. So here's the first comb. Like, is the whole thing called a comb? It's, I think so. So these are part of the comb, basically. Yeah, so here it is. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make the body. So I'm going to go back to my white yarn and we're going to start with, you guessed it, a magic ring. And round one is going to be six single crochets worked into the magic ring. So round one is just going to be six single crochets. And with round one done, we move on to round two, which is going to be one increase in each single crochet for a total of six increases, which is to say 12 single crochets. Okay, and with round two done, we move on to round three, which is going to be one single crochet and then one increase. And again, one single crochet and one increase repeated six times in total. So at the end, we're going to have 18 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so now that round three is done, we move on to round four, which is going to be two single crochets and then one increase repeated six times in total so at the end of round four we're going to have 24 single crochets so i'll see you when i have those done okay now that round four is done we can move on to round five which is going to be three single crochets and then one increase so three single crochets and then one increase repeated six times so at the end of round five we're going to have 30 single crochets and i will see you when i have those done okay so now that we're done with round five as well we can move on to round six which is going to be four single crochets so three four single crochets and then one increase repeated six times in total so at the end of round six we're going to have 36 single crochets so again three four and then one increase so i'll see you when we have those 36 single crochets done okay so now that we're done with round six we can move on to round seven which is going to be five single crochets so three Four, five and then one increase repeated six times so at the end of round seven we're going to have 42 single crochets so again this is three four five and then one increase repeated again six times so at the end we're going to have 42 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done Okay, so now that we're done with round seven, we can move on to round eight, which is just going to be one single crochet in each stitch. So at the end of round eight, we will still have 42 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, and now that we're done with round eight, we can move on to round nine, which is going to be six single crochets and then one increase. So this is three, four, Six, and then one increase repeated again six times so at the end of round nine we're going to have 48 single crochets and I will see you when I have those done 
Okay, with round 9 done as well, we can move on to round 10, which is just going to be one single crochet in each stitch. So at the end of round 10, we will still have 48 single crochets, so I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so now that we are done with round 10, we can move on to round 11, which is going to be 7 single crochets and then 1 increase. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1 increase, repeated 6 times. So at the end, we're going to have 54 single crochets and I will see you when I have those done. Okay, so now that we are done with round 11, we move on to round 12 to 27. So now we move on to the bulk of the body. So for the next 16 rounds, we're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch. So from round 12 to round 27, just one single crochet each stitch. So at the end of each round, we will still have 54 single crochets. So I'll see you when we have those 16 rounds done. Okay, I'm done with round 27, so we can now move on to round 28, which is going to be 7 single crochets and 1 decrease, so this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1 decrease. Repeated as usual six times, so at the end we're going to have 48 single crochets, so I'll see you at the end of round 28. Okay, and when we're done with round 28, we can move on to round 29, which is going to be six single crochets and one decrease. So this is three, four, five, six, and then one decrease repeated six times in total so at the end we're going to have 42 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done and when round 29 is done as well we can move on to round 30 which is going to be five single crochets so again three four five and then one decrease repeated six times in total so at the end we're going to have 36 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done Okay, and once we are done with round 30, we can move on to round 31, which is going to be four single crochets and then one decrease. So this is four, one decrease, repeated again six times. So at the end, we're going to have 30 single crochets. And this is a good time to start stuffing the body. I don't like stuffing it all the way just yet, just because um, I think it decreases a little bit better if there is no stuffing, kind of like pushing against the stitches, but obviously it depends on your preference. So I'm going to start stuffing the body, just not completely, And but I do suggest that you do start, start stuffing your body as well. So I'll see you when I have this round done. Okay, I have round 31 done, so now we can move on to round 32, which is going to be three single crochets and then one decrease. So two, three, and then one decrease, repeated again six times. So at the end, we're going to have 24 single crochets and I will see you when I have those done. Okay, so round 32 is done as well, so we can now move on to round 33. And at this point, I'm just stuffing as I go. So round 33 is going to be two single crochets and then one decrease. So one, two, and then decrease, repeated, <laughs> I'm sure you, you can guess, six times. So at the end, we're going to have 18 single crochets and I'll see you when I have those done. Okay, so round 33 is done as well. We can now move on to round 34 which is just going to be one single crochet and then one decrease repeated six times in total. So at the end, we're going to have 12 single crochets. This is getting harder and harder to do. That was terrible, okay. <laughs> and decrease, that's better. Okay, six times. So at the end, we're going to have 12 single crochets and I will see you when I have this done. Don't forget to keep stuffing the body. Okay, and once we are done with round 34, we can move on to the last and closing round, which is going to be round 35, and it's just going to be six decreases. So at the end, we're going to have six single crochets and we'll just close it. I will not show you because it's getting way too difficult to show you, but it's just going to be six decreases. So I'll be back when I have those done. Okay, so now that round 35 is done as well, I'm just going to slip stitch. 
and then I'm going to leave just a little bit of a tail so that um, I can then close the gap okay so that's the body done okay now I'm going to show you how to make the wing uh, or wings if you want to make two of them so we're going to start with a magic wing as usual but the wings will not be worked in rounds so I'm going to show you what that means so first of all we're going to make three single crochets into the magic ring so and then we close the magic ring as usual and now we're not going to keep working in rounds so we're not going to go in that direction but we're going to chain one turn our work and now we're going to make one increase in each stitch so at the end we're going to have six single crochets because we had three to begin with so okay and now again we're going to chain one turn so as you can see we're not working in rounds that's what um, I meant by that so now we're going to make one single crochet and one increase repeated again three times so at the end we're going to have nine single crochets okay and now one more time we're going to chain one turn and then we're going to make two single crochets and one increase repeat it three times so at the end we're going to have 12 single crochets Okay, so now we move on to the last round of the wing. We are going to make three clusters of double crochets in the same way that we made some clusters of triple crochets to the head because we want to make it look like plumes basically. So what we're going to do is once again, we're going to turn our work, no need to chain one this time. We're going to yarn over and then starting from the second stitch from uh, your hook, so not the last stitch you made, but the one before that, we're going to make one double crochet into that stitch. Okay, so this is the first double crochet, and now into that same stitch, we're going to make five more double crochets, so six in total. Okay, and now we want to slip stitch, not into the stitch right next to the one where we made the cluster of double crochets, but in the one next to it. So in, again, the second stitch uh, from where you're working. So we're just going to slip stitch and then we're going to repeat this two more times. So again, we're going to go not into the next stitch, but in the one next to it. And we're going to make six double crochets there. And then once we have our six double crochets, we're going to count not the next stitch, but the one next to it and slip stitch. And then one last time, we're going to count not this one, the second one. So six double crochets in there. Okay, and one last time we just slip stitch and then we can cut, leave a little bit of a tail so that we can sew the wing to the body and there is the wing done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the tail which again is not going to be worked in rounds. So we're going to start with a magic ring as usual and then we're going to chain two. And then in the second chain from the hook, we're going to make two single crochets. So in the first chain that you made, two single crochets. 
Now we're going to chain one, turn, and make one single crochet in each single crochet for a total of two. So one and two. Then we're going to again chain one. So this is going to be the third row chain one and then we're going to increase in each single crochet so increase twice basically so we're going to have four single crochets then we're going to chain one again turn again and make one single crochet in each stitch for a total of four single crochets Okay, so we move on to the fifth row now. So we chain one, turn, increase in the first single crochet, then make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one and two, and then once again, increase into the last stitch for a total of six single crochet. Okay, so again we chain one, turn, we go to the sixth row, which is going to be one single crochet in each stitch for a total of six single crochets. Okay, once that is done, we chain one, turn one last time, and then we're going to increase once in the first single crochet then make one single crochet in each of the next four single crochets and then increase one last time into the last single crochet for a total of eight okay so now we're going to be working on the sides of this triangle that we have just made to make some clusters of single crochets and double crochets so that it looks like it has some plumes basically once again um, we're going to be working a bit approximately because we have to work on the sides so i'm going to be referring to the rows but if it's not perfect like if if uh, your cluster doesn't really cover three rows exactly and precisely it's fine it's not a huge a huge issue but the first cluster so we're going to be working the same way that we did before so I'm going to insert my crochet hook right under my uh, second to last row so here basically and I'm going to be making five single crochets into that same spot so into that same row And once that is done, I'm just going to slip stitch right next to it. And then I'm going to be making one more cluster of five single crochets, going, uh, skipping about, yeah, one row again. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook right here and working five single crochets there. And once that is done, I'm going to single crochet right next to it, sorry, to slip stitch right next to it. And now, as you can see, we have reached basically the top of the triangle. And in the top of the triangle, I'm going to be making eight double crochets. So it's going to be eight double crochets into right in the first stitches that we worked. And you can tighten the magic ring again if you need to and now we're going to okay we're going to slip stitch uh, try to be symmetrical to this side so I'm going to slip stitch pretty much where I slip stitched on the other side so right here and then we're going to be making again the clusters of single crochets onto this side right here so two clusters of five single crochets um, just try to be as symmetrical as possible to the other side um, it's not going to be difficult I'm sure so and I'll see you when I have those done also because I see that Oliver is about to jump on the desk okay so as you can see the tail is done I've done my last cluster of single crochets I've slip stitched into the 
uh, starting or actually this was, this was the finishing chain or the finishing row of single crochet so now I'm going to cut leave a tail to sew this to the body and this is the tail done okay so now I'm going to show you how to make the legs so again if you want to make two of them we're going to start with a magic ring as usual and then we're going to make six single crochets into the magic ring which is going to be our first round okay so now we're going to close the magic ring and move to the second round which is going to be one increase in each single crochet for a total of six increases so at the end of round two we're going to have 12 single crochets and i will see you when i have those done okay and when round two is done we can move on to round three which is going to be three single crochets so one two three and then one increase repeat it this time uh, three times sorry so at the end we're going to have 15 single crochets so once again it's just one two three and then one increase repeat it three times so at the end we're going to have 15 single crochets and i'll see you when i have those done okay and when round three is done we move to the fourth and final round which is going to be four single crochets and one increase so three four and then one increase repeat it again three times so at the end we're going to have 18 single crochets and i will see you when i have those done okay so the fourth round is done so we can now just slip stitch and then leave a tail to sew the leg to the body I'm not going to stuff it quite yet, I'm going to stuff it right before I sew it, so for now this is the leg. Okay, and the last thing that we have to make before we assemble our hand is going to be the feet, so as many legs as you made, you can make as many feet, so if you made four legs you're going to make four feet and so on. So we're going to start with a magic ring and we're going to chain two, again this is not worked in rounds, so we're going to chain, chain two. And then in the second chain from the hook, we're going to work one single crochet. And then we're going to chain one, turn, and then we're going to make two single crochets into that single crochet. So one increase basically. And then we can chain one, turn, so this is the third row. We're going to make two increases, so one increase in each single crochet for a total of four single crochets. Okay, so now again we can chain one, turn, and then we're going to make one single crochet in each single crochet for a total of four single crochets. And once again we're going to chain one, turn and then we're going to increase in the first single crochet then make one single crochet in each of the next two single crochets and then increase into the last single crochet for a total of six single crochets okay now we're going to from here we're going to turn and this time we're going to chain four okay so one two three and four and then starting from the second chain from the hook we're going to make one single crochet in each of the next three chains so three chains sorry so three single crochets working down that chain like so and then we're going to make a slip stitch into the not the single crochet that is right um or, or the last single crochet basically that we made in the last row but the one right next to it so the second to last so we're going to slip stitch like this and then we're going to do do this two more times so we're going to chain four to start so 
three and four and then we're going to make again one single crochet starting from the second chain from the hook one single crochet in each of the next three chains so one two and three and then again we're going to slip stitch not into the first single crochet that we have here but in the one right next to it so each um, finger should uh, cover cover about two single crochets and then one last time so chain four and then starting from the second chain from the hook uh, one single crochet in each of the next um, three chains so and just slip stitch into the last available single crochet and then we're going to cut leave a little tail so that we can sew this to the leg and that's it we have all our pieces so next is how to assemble them okay so now that we have all of our pieces we can move on to the assembling part so we're going to start with the head so get your uh, comb and your beak ready we're going to start with the beak so I stuffed the head a little bit because I think it's easier to place the various pieces when the head is stuffed but if you want you can stuff it before you sew the head on the body so we're going to start with the beak and you want to place the beak right in between the eyes it should leave a little bit less than one stitch on either side of the eye and I'm going to place it basically kind of in the middle of round 16 almost on round 15 and just let it uh, uh, go upwards uh, for as many rows as it takes or as many rounds as it takes and then I'm going to pin it I'm going to sew off camera as usual and I'm also going to show you where to place the comb so we're going to do both of those at the same time and I've also noticed that if the comb isn't on it it kind of looks like the head of an eagle so maybe this could be a good starting point for an eagle pattern as well maybe I'll do that um, and then we're going to place the comb as I said so first of all um, take one piece I guess of the comb and we're going to place it starting from the second round of the head okay so not the first round of the second one and you want to place it so that if you trace an imaginary line from the basically from the magic ring here and it goes through the middle of the beak you want to place the comb on that line okay so pretty much here now I can't see very well so apologies if this is actually a little bit lopsided I'll uh, adjust it later before I actually sew it but to give you an idea and then we place the other two just uh, continuing on that same line and um, as close as possible to one another so here and also the last one again on that same line and just as close as possible to the second one so pretty much here okay so that's it for the pieces of the hat and I'm going to see you when I have all those sewn onto the hat okay so now the hat is done so all the pieces are sewn on and we're going to set it aside just for a moment and move on to the body so get the wings and the body ready so as you can see I've placed some pins because I don't want to just count on camera so we're going to place the wings now make sure that the front of the double crochets and of the single crochets is facing upward so that you know you don't have the back of the stitches are facing upward and we're going to get the first wing and we want to place the last round of single crochets so before we moved on to the double crochets the last round of the single crochets goes between round 12 and 13 of the body so I've uh, pinned here with this orange pin so that's the last round of single crochets and that's where it has to go and then now I've already placed my green pin here it's the uh, other size basically of the last round of single crochets has to go between rounds 19 and 20 so here I'm also going to tell you 
how you can check that it's at a slight angle you have to take your second wing as well and repeat the same thing so again um, the uh, front of the wings so the front of the double crochets has to face upwards and the first side counting from the last round of single crochets has to go between round 12 and 13 so right here and then the other side has to go between rounds 19 and 20 and because we want to place them at a slight angle and we want to check that they're kind of symmetrical between these two wings so where they are further apart you should count about 16 to 17 stitches right here okay and when where they're closer you should count about 12 single crochets so on this round right here so if you count from the again last round of single crochets here you should have about 12 single crochets and here you should have about 16 17 single single crochets and that should give you a bit of a symmetrical placement for the wings so again i'm going to see you when i have both of these sewn to the body Oh wait, actually I forgot to tell you something. Um, I like to just sew the, uh, basically the top of the wings, so just this side, because I like that the wings can kind of um, rise just a little bit, but if you want them to stay attached to the body, feel free to sew right here, maybe, that would be cute as well, because then, you know, this part isn't completely attached to the body. I'm just going to sew the top, because that's what I like best. Okay, so now that the wings are on, we're going to go ahead with the tail. So, get the tail, and we're going to sew the tail between around 25 and 26 of the body. So, basically, round one is going to be the front of the body, and the last round is going to be the back of the body. So, between, between round 25 and 26, we're going to attach the tail. Now, I've already placed my pins so that the tail is kind of centered compared to the wings. I went by trial and error, but uh, you can, for example, you can trace again an imaginary line going from maybe the top of the wing, so right here, and then do the same for the other wing and check if the stitches, um, if the, the distance basically from that line to the beginning of the tail is the same. So um, you can just eyeball it basically and, and you know, just re reposition it if you see that it's a bit off center. But um, that's where, where we will place the, the tail and I'll see you when that is also sewn to the body. Okay, so now we're going to put the head and the body together. So uh, you want to stuff your head. I didn't stuff it too much because if you stuff it a bit too much, it's going to be more difficult to sew it to the body. So I prefer to keep it a bit less stuffed. And then we're going to place the head um, between rounds six and seven of the body and again i'm not going to count the um, rounds of triple crochets i'm going to count the last round of single crochets because you know depending on where you place the eyes and and the beak it could change so we're going to go with the last round of single crochets so that round is going to go on round between rounds six and seven of the body and again you want to check that the Basically, the magic ring, the starting point of the body, is in line with the starting point point of the beak and also with the uh, with the comb, basically, so that the head is kind of like straight on the body, and it's going to, as you can see, basically be attached all over rounds from six, seven to eighteen, nineteen, pretty much. And do you just want to sew? I'm going to try to sew just the uh, rounds of single crochet, just round of single crochets. I'll try not to touch the tri triple crochets because I want them to be, again, a little bit raised because I like it be better that way. But of course, you know, you can choose however you want to sew it. And that's going to be the head attached to the body. Okay, now that the head is sewn to the body, we're going to move on to the leg and foot or feet and legs. So first things first, we're going to sew the foot to the leg, the, the mini leg, so we're going to want to sew basically the third, fourth row of the foot onto the center of the leg, and by center I mean where the magic ring pretty much is, so we're going to count it's one, two, three, so this part right here is going to be attached here. And you kind of want to work around that spot. Um, you can sew more if you want. 
the important thing and what I um, would avoid if I were you is do not sew the little triangle uh, in the back and do not sew the, uh, the fingers. So just sew the center of the foot. Okay, so I'll see you when I have that done. Okay, so we have the feet attached to the legs. So now we can attach the legs to the body and we are going to be done. So we're going to attach the legs uh, on round 16 of the body. So this time we're going under the body. And you want to, again, uh, this is just how I do it. You can count stitches from the wings if you want, but in order to place the legs kind of like symmetrically, I'm just going to trace a line from basically starting even from the comb and going through the middle of the beak, the middle of the body, and all the way down up until the 16th round, which is where um, the leg is going to be attached. First, you want to stuff it just lightly because before you um, sew it. I haven't done it yet, but I will just before I sew it. So it's going to start from round 16, so pretty much here. And you want to leave a couple of stitches, just a couple of stitches between the legs, even like one, one and a half stitch will do. So pretty much like this, a little bit higher and this is turn because I haven't pinned it properly but you get, you get where I'm going with this, okay? So I will see you when I have those attached to the body. So from the 16th round down, um, trace the line or count the stitches. As I said, you can count the stitch from the wings and see if there is the same amount on this side as there is on this side to be sure that you know the legs are precisely underneath the body where you want them. And you can leave one, two stitches uh, between the legs um, here. So I'll see you when I have those attached. Okay, and now that the feet and the legs are also on, you have your little hen which I think looks really adorable. I know I'm biased, but I think she looks pretty adorable. Look, it, it even stands, that's amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If there is something that is unclear, please feel free to leave me a question in the comment section. You can also reach me on my social media. So I'm Robbie Ambrose on Instagram and Ambrose Crochet on Facebook. Um, please leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video, or a like, subscribe for more tutorials, and do let me know if there are any tutorials you'd like to see from me. And please tag me if you make your own hand, because I'd love to see it. And until next time, bye!